Do you want to take better pictures on your phone and nail your Instagram? Well, I'm gonna give you my six different tips to take better photos on your phone. Well, then keep watching. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video and tuning into my channel. I'm so grateful and honored to speak in front of you. Well, this is going to be my third video, um, especially talking in front of the camera. And then I feel a bit comfortable and a bit better. So I'm gonna give you my six different tips on how to take a better photos on your phone. Well, my first tip will be before you take any pictures clean your camera lens because your phone is with you all the time holding on your hand you might get a lot of fingerprints because of the fingerprints on the camera lens or maybe the dust your image might look a bit boring or maybe not sharp enough so because of that you want to clean your lens with any soft cloth or on your shirt this way right so that is my number one tip and my second tip will be follow the grid follow the guidelines follow the camera grid let me show what it means on my phone basically I'm using my iPhone here um, if you don't see the grid line the four lines um, yeah, on your phone you can go to your settings your camera settings I can show you on my phone so you just have to go to the settings go to the grid and on and when you open your camera you see these four different lines one two three four and make sure when you take any pictures everything falls in a straight line so I'm pretty sure in most of the phone they have this setting to show the grid lines either you're using your iPhone Samsung whatever phone it doesn't matter in pretty much all the phone like 80 person of the phone when you find the settings it might show grid g r i d make sure you own it and then follow the guidelines of that and it will help you to take better photos let me explain a bit more about how to take photos with the help of these grid guidelines uh, you see a photo here the subject looking outside the window I'm gonna make sure the grid lines are all uh, parallel to the window and make it straight. This is the way how you want to take it, you know, making it all straight with the grid lines and the window. Not something like turning left or right, or this or this, whatever. Let me show you another example of me performing for a show. I make sure even in here all the lines are straight and parallel to the grid lines. That is about how to follow the grid on your camera phone. And my number three tip will be rule of third. Follow the rule of third. If you want to take better photos, rule of third will be the most simple one and the very effective one. Well, open your phone camera. Make sure you keep your subject either on the right or either on the left to make it more pleasing in our eyes and to make it more interesting. Let's say you're shooting a landscape. Make sure the last bottom line is parallel to the horizontal and make sure you keep it in this line below the grid which is on your phone. You have to try a bit out about the rule of third. Make sure you follow this tip and your photography level will not be the same anymore. You're going to level up your skills. It's very important to know the rules, what is mean by rule of third. And after knowing the rules, you can break. And my fourth tip will be, make it simple. Guys, you should, you gotta be very clear about what you want to show the photo to the audience. If you are taking a picture, you make sure whatever picture you want to click, either it's a person either it's a beautiful scenery or either 
it's a food or whatever just make it simple all right and then what if you take a portrait or something let me show you what it means so make it more simple in this particular photo let me show you uh, i just want to take you know keep the importance keep the audience eyes to the subject and my number five tip will be edit your pictures because it, let's say you take a big, good photo and then by editing it you can make the photo more good and better that's why you want to do it in my last video i've talked about how to edit your photos on adobe lightroom mobile I'll make sure you check out the link i'll give it somewhere over here or in my down description link well it's complete beginner from scratch uh, the lesson was from the scratch so i hope you will understand pretty much by watching the video the last but not the least in my number six tip will be practice you know i've i told you about how to practice photography on your phone and things like that because it's so important in everything you do practice is must you should you know let's say you are playing your guitar you are singing you are playing your football in everything you do you should practice and this is the only key to make any skills get better and better and better after you invest your 10,000 hours time in every skills in everything you do well you become the master of it you become more professional into that that is the reason you should keep practicing well that is my six tips on how to take better photos on your phone once again thank you so much guys for watching till the end and please don't forget to subscribe and then if you really like the video please give a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this video in the comment down below and i will see you in the next video keep watching